Good evening and welcome back to another episode of The Longing, where today we are going to reverse time to begin with and then continue to read the Iliad. So I need to jump out of the chair again <laughs> so that I can set the blue fire going. So let's get that done and let's reverse the days because we are getting very dangerously close to the end, which we're not ready for just yet. But here goes. So yeah, I've um, I've kind of decided that I am going to stop the longing playthrough when either when one of two things occurs. The first one is um, when I've read all the books I want to read. Really. Um, there aren't that many of them left that I want to uh, that I want to want to read um, as part of the natural gameplay. Um, one of them is House on the Borderland, and the other is The Sleeper Awakes. Now, both of those should I should have enough time for both of those to occur. Oh, we've run out reverse time. Um, for, for the, both of those to be read, rather, because they're short enough that I should be able to do it. The other, th the other option that I want to be, um, the, sort of the other trigger for finishing the longing is going to be, um, I'm not going to go past day 1000. Um, I'm undecided whether I'm going to stop and have the last day as day 999. Or stop at, and have day 1000 as a special day um, and have that as the final the final day and I've not yet decided what I'm gonna do or if or if I'm gonna do anything particularly special for the final episode of it so we do finally have a plan for when we're gonna end this I, I know I was probably supposed should have ended this 440 days ago or something um, but I did kind of get get dragged into reading which I quite enjoyed so yeah I at least now have two things two prerequisites prerequisites no not that's not the right words uh, two conditions oops I think I picked picked up yeah, I have two conditions for ending the run, which is, it's good to finally have that set in stone. Um, yeah. It is good to have that sense done. Because I was wondering, I was thinking how much longer do I want, really want to be doing this? And while I, don't get me wrong, I've, I've definitely enjoyed it, but it does take a decent amount of time overall when you take into account how long I've done it for. So yeah. Oh, there we go. We actually ma oh, we managed to make it just at the last second, literally. We managed to make it at the last second for uh, getting back as far as we could. So, with that taken into account, we are going to now start reading, or continue reading, the Il Iliad so that we actually make progress with it <clears throat> today because we're starting a new book, which is why we did the reversal. So, let's get going. Book 24. Argument. The Redemption of the Body of Hector. The gods deliberate about the redemption of Hector's body. Jupiter sends Thetis to Achilles to dispose him for the restoring it, and Iris to Priam to encourage him to go in person and treat for it. 
the old king notwithstanding the remonst remonstrances of his queen makes ready for the journey to which he is encouraged by an omen from jupiter he sets forth in his chariot with a wagon then uh, a wagon loaded with presents under the charge of ideas the herald mercury descends in the shape of a young man and conducts him to the to the pavilion of achilles their conversation on the way priam finds achilles at his ta table casts himself at his feet and begs for the body of his son achilles moved with compassion grants his request detains him one night in his tent and the next morning sends him home with the body the trojans run out to meet him the lamentations of andromach hecuba and helen with the solemnities of the funeral the time of twelve days is employed in this book while the body of hector lies in the tent of achilles and as many more are spent in the truce allowed for his interment the scene is partly in achilles's camp and partly in troy now from the finished games the grecian band seek their black ships and clear the crowded strand all stretched at ease the genial banquet share and pleasing slumbers quiet all their care not so achilles he to grief resigned his friend's dear image present to his mind takes his sad couch more unobserved to weep nor tastes the gifts of all composing sleep restless he rolled around his weary bed and all his soul on his patroclus fed the form so pleasing and the heart so kind that youthful vigor and that manly mind what toils they shared what martial works they wrought what seas they measured and what fields they fought all passed before him in remembrance dear thought follows thought and tear succeeds to tear and now supine now prone the hero lay now shifts his side impatient for the day then starting up disconsolate he goes wide on the lonely beach to vent his woes there as the solitary manu uh, mourner raves the ruddy morning rises o'er the waves soon as it rose his furious steeds he joined the chariot flies and hector trails behind and thrice patroclus round thy monument was hector dragged then hurried to the tent there sleep at last o'ercomes the hero's eyes while foul in dust the unhonored unhonored carcass lies but not deserted by the pitying skies for phoebus watched it with superior care preserved from gaping wounds and tainting air and ignominious as it swept the field spread o'er the sacred course his golden shield all heaven was moved and hermes willed to go by stealth to snatch him from the insulting foe but neptune this and pallas this denies and the unrelenting empress of the skies ere since that day impl implacable to troy what time young paris simple shepherd boy won by destructive lust reward obscene their charms rejected for the cyprian queen but when the tenth the celestial morning broke to heaven assembled thus apollo spoke hector's body at the car of achilles unpitying powers how oft each holy vein has hector tinged with blood of victims slain and can ye still his cold remains pursue still grudge his body to the trojans view deny to consort mother son and sire the last sad honors of a funeral fire is then the dire achilles all your care that iron heart inflexibly severe a lion not a man who slaughters wide in strength of rage and impotence of pride who hastes to murder with a savage joy invades around and breathes but to destroy shame is not of his soul nor understood the greatest evil and the greatest good still for one loss he rages unresigned repugnant to the lot of all mankind to lose a friend a brother or a son heaven dooms each mortal and its will is done 
A while they sorrow, then dismiss their care. Fate gives the wound, and man is born to bear. But this insatiate the commission given, By fate exceeds and tempts the wrath of heaven. Lo, how his rage dishonest drags along, Hector's dead earth, insensible of wrong. Brave though he be, yet by no reason awed, He violates the laws of man and God. And with that, we come to the end of the episode. So, I will say thank you very much for joining me today. We finally managed to reverse time. But yes, thank you very much. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night. No matter what time of day it is, I hope you all have a wonderful one of it. And as always, we will be back tomorrow for more of The Longing. Goodbye. <laughs>